Welcome back to Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Today we are joined by Nanette Berrigan. She is the Mayor Pro Tem of Hermosa Beach. Continues to be controversy about potential oil drilling in your city, a small city, but 1.4 square miles. Last time we spoke, uh, well, let's back up. Give us the sense of the controversy and then we can go into the particulars. Well, last time I was here, uh, we were talking about putting a measure on the ballot that the oil company has a right to have to ask the voters of Hermosa Beach whether to allow oil drilling or not. Right. And so when I was here last, it was going to be a November election. Right. But that has changed. And so I want to make sure residents know the new election date is now March 3rd. So if a voter chooses to select the yes box, what does that mean? If they're voting yes, it's going to be they're in favor of oil drilling, which means we'll have to change the municipal code which means it will vest a 35-year right to the oil company to drill there. And it will mean that the residents will have to pay $3.5 million in addition to a lot of other fees in moving the maintenance yard right. and things of that nature. If they vote no, what does that mean? That means they'll have to pay a penalty that's in the settlement agreement. It's a $17.5 million amount. And right now everybody wants to know how are we going to pay for it. Right. So. You say it's 3.5 million if they vote yes, 17.5 if they vote no. So it would seem like the yes vote would be the wise vote fiscally, but please explain how it may actually be that the two votes line up in terms of the fiscal impact. Well, the voters say yes, there's a lot of other costs. And for example, where they want to drill is on the city's maintenance yard. We are going to have to relocate the maintenance yard temporarily and permanently. That's going to amount to something between $16 million to up to 23 when you take into other costs. Soil remediation the city's going to have to pay for and other costs that the cost-benefit analysis describes. So one could argue a yes vote is more expensive than a no vote. I would argue that a yes vote will mean we have to finance just as much money, if not more, if we allow oil drilling. What about turning to the state? to pay the penalty of $17.5 million. I believe there was a proposal to do that. Right, so Assemblymember Al Marasucci did have a bill that would have let us borrow the balance borrow. because the city has mm -hmm. six million set aside. We just had our budget session and mm -hmm. put aside another million. So we're talking about a $10.5 million amount. And the unfortunately, the legislation did not get through the legislature. Mm -hmm. um, he pulled it um, when he realized he didn't have the votes. Um, but I tell people at the end of the day, we can pay for it. We have a cost benefit analysis that mm -hmm. tells us that we can get certificate of participation bonds. Mm. Basically, it's backed by the general fund. No tax increase and no vote of the people on that. And we have the money to pay for it. You have to go to the voters on this regardless? We have to go to the voters on whether to allow oil drilling or not. You That's couldn't. the part. You couldn't, as a council vote, no oil drilling without their input. Correct, because there was existing litigation by the oil company on a breach of contract claim, and part of the settlement I was understand. it would go to the voters. With a city that's only at 1.4 square miles, where do you drill if not near be a home, be away from a home or set back from a home? That's the problem. That's the big problem here. The city maintenance yard where they're proposing to drill is right next to a park where our children play. It's within 160 feet of people's homes. It's right next to a green belt where we have physical activity. It doesn't make sense. So you have gone on the record that you will be voting no on this initiative. Absolutely. Now the city remains neutral, but I, in my individual capacity, am no on oil drilling. Her name is Nanette Berrigan. She is the mayor pro tem of the beautiful city of Hermosa Beach, California. I'm Brad Pomerantz. It's Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.